Corset 2021 spoilers have already rolled out and people are really impressed. Me being one of the people, because holy crap, I've never seen more powerful cards in a Corset in quite some time. The new Teferi, the new Teferi, let's talk about the new Teferi. So it rivals Jace the Mind Sculptor. They're both four mana and they both have three loyalty, I believe. And uh, the fact that you draw a card, discard a card is your first one, so you're, you're looting. It's got a static Planeswalker ability, and it's minus 10. You take two extra turns after this one, so that's basically game over. So it's minus 10 is uh, we, I win the game. So that is a very impressive card. Uh, they're bringing back Massacre Worm, one of the best cards in Mirrored and Besieged. We have great new mythics like Elder Gar 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 Garoth. Gargoth, I really hope I'm saying that right. It's got Vigilance, Reach, and Trample. Whenever Elder Gagaroth attacks or blocks, choose one. Create a 3-3 green beast creature token. You gain 3 life or draw a card. So this is a 6-6 six, six for 5 mana. It's going to be well played in any sort of ramp. I want to just throw it one of my casual elf beast ramp decks, to be honest, because uh, that is quite the body to have on the board. You have a new human Legendary creature, Mangara the Diplomat. It's got lifelink whenever an opponent attacks with creature with creatures. If two or more of those creatures are attacking, you and your planeswalker you control, draw a card. Whenever an opponent casts their second spell each turn, draw a card. So you can really start Wow. Loading your hand up. So drawing lots of cards with white, uh it's it's always been a little tricky. But this card looks like it's a uh, can make some good use out of its abilities. Uh, we're bringing back Baneslayer Angel. Uh, it's been a while. What was that? M10, I think it was. I I never thought they would bring back a card like that. It's got protection from demons and dragons, and it's got first strike flying lifelink. It's a really powerful card, especially in EDH. And they they even reprinted Azusa Lost but seeking one of the most expensive rares, and I believe. Kamigawa, and also it was reprinted, uh, it was one of the chase cards in M25, Masters 25, remember that. So they are not holding back here, they're they're fully just hitting that print button right now, they're, going, they're making the printer go burr right now. They're printing Cultivate as well, that's a fantastic card, I, I'm shocked to see this in a standard. Grim Tutor they reprinted. Nonetheless, that there was a. It was funny because I remember there was a little bit of talk before that they weren't going to reprint uh, Grim Tutor, and uh, there it is. Yeah, they uh, called their bluff. Containment Priest, as well, a fantastic card. So just the amount of reprints. Ruined Halo, another card. It was one of the most expensive cards at one point in Lauren Block. They really are not holding their punches, and this is just the start. There's still lots more spoilers to go. I'm very, very curious to see what is coming out the gate soon because this is thoroughly impressive. Uh, I was holding out to buy a lot of product from Jumpstart, but I might have to make a switch and just purchase the corset stuff instead because, uh, I mean, Ujin the Spirit Dragon. I want a borderless Planeswalker Ujin the Spirit Dragon to throw in my Tron deck. I want a... a pair of those easily so the fact that they're printing a 70 dollar planeswalker reprint as well in a core set says a lot they really they really want people to buy this set like this is the bait is out there they're already just there that string of bait is just dangling there and they're just wanting you to bite right into it because the cards here are make no mistake this set will sell this set will sell very well so i don't know what do you guys think? Do you think that this is a, basically a master set? This is the kind of way I'm looking at it right now. It's like almost borderline master set for a power level. And you're getting 36 packs, not the 24 you would in a master set. So very impressive. What do you guys think? Uh, are you going to buy a lot of this product? Are you going to wait for the singles to dry up? Are you going to buy the singles of the reprints? Because that's usually a pretty good strategy. Anything that's reprinted in a core set or any sort of standard set will go down in value. And uh, once it bottoms out, Grab a play set of them. Or more, if you feel like it. If you want to make a spec, I guess. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think.